Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fable 3. Alright, when we left off, we had just gotten done with a quest that was quite a bit weird. Not as weird as the uh, creepy one over here in that direction, but uh, it was weird. I now have a chicken suit because of it, so that's a thing. Alright, anyway, when we left off, we got done with that. And did a couple jobs, get some muns, and now I think it's about high time we do this quest over here. Because this one is the most uh, rewarding of the two, and it's also the longest, so here we go. Now it is time. You, good sir, you who live in such a tumultuous epoch. Yes. Do you not thirst for the drama and emotion of a properly structured tragic play? Eh? Of course you don't. You want to escape your troubles. Yeah. You want to be made merry. You want to be amused. It is eh, no good. Kinda. We shall never agree. Ah, if only we could get our hands on Morley's lost play. It would solve all our problems. Would it? Yes, it is said to bring together the opposites of tragedy and comedy in an exquisite marriage of forms. That but seems perhaps you difficult. Can find it. Yes, we beg. Okay. You. The theater, the muses, the very heart and soul of this town will thank you. If you say so. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid, splendid. You should know we did commission an elderly detective to search the library for clues as to the play's whereabouts, but he never returned. The man's name is Ransom Locke, and he's rather closer to senility than one would like, truth be told. Okay, if you come fair. across this gentleman, he may be able to aid you. I believe he is looking for the collected works of the playwright Philip Thmorley as we speak. One can only hope they were not burned when the king closed down the academy and its library. Yeah, that'd be bad. That would be really bad. Okay, I guess we got to talk to Ransom Locke. Also, it said that I didn't complete a quest before starting this one. I don't know what it's talking about. There was no other quests that I had set up. So, I don't know what it's talking about. The only other quest was the one I'm on. There's like no other quests in the area. Missing child. Well, I didn't do that one. I didn't even know that was a quest. I mean, I guess I can do that one. But I assume it meant that I didn't finish this one. And it's like, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Calm down, game. Yeesh. All right. Anyway. Let's uh, continue on with that. Ooh, I got a lot of money there. That's kind of nice. Whoops. Forgot it's a hold. I always forget it's a hold. Hey! Find a ransom lock. Okay. Turn Wait. back now, mortal one. Okay. Well, I needed to turn away to get the treasure, so. Sure. Alright. Okay. Um, well, can I open the door? I can open the door. You didn't really, uh, didn't really stop me there, Philip Morley. Morley? Philip Morley. That's a hell of a name. Stay away from this accursed place. You know, they should really fix the draft in here. It's, it's starting to make noises that sound like people's voices and throwing pages out of books. It's re it's really not great. Let me tell you. Only death and insanity await you. But that's a normal Tuesday for me. This is nothing. Come on now. Who seeketh forbidden knowledge, but shall find naught but 
damnation! So, my Saturdays then. Okay. Fair. Those can get a little weird. I'll admit. But. Don't pick it up! I shall. No. Really, I'm serious. I do not care. Ooh, cutscene. I open the book. Whoop. You lot just can't leave well enough alone, can you? Bloody literary tourists, bane of my afterlife. Uh, uh, okay. That looked like a Gmod animation for about five seconds. Okay. Auto pick. Ah? Uh -huh. Listen, you. You're not getting my lost plate, you hear? It's rubbish. Worse than rubbish. I mean, what was I thinking mixing tragedy and comedy? I must have been off my rocker. Okay. It would seem, my dear fellow, you have been apprehended by the Ransom ghost Lock. of Philip Morley. That makes us both his captives. Okay. I am Ransom Locke. If the name seems familiar, it is because I was once a detective of some renown. Oh. And yet, here I am, ready Analog to live out the rest okay. of my days, trapped in a book. As okay. far as I can deduce, we are currently in a scene from one of Morley's greatest romantic plays, the near tragedy of Oliver and Ethel. Okay. I believe if we are to escape, we must act out the scene. But performing is not one of my talents. So if you're I expecting me to do it. Putting on this costume should set things in motion. Um, I forgot about this. <laughs> uh, I guess. Okay. Not typically my thing, but okay. Oh, God. It's so frilly. Oh, my God, it's pretty. Oh, Ethel, my love, my life, my son. If thou wouldst but give me one sign, one gesture that would speak of your affections, then might I think this grey existence worth living. Ah, uh, yes, a classic moment in the play. You are Ethel. The beautiful young daughter of a dung merchant. Show Oliver no. that you love him, and we may be able to leave this scene. Or how about this? Drop dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> What cruel darts doth strike my intemperate soul? If this rejection be true, then I shall reject the world itself. This deadly brew shall make of me a feast for the worms, and it shall touch my lips if you do not admit your undying love. Please! Okay! His insistence doesn't surprise me. As it was written, Ethel did indeed profess her love, and the two lived happily ever after. Okay, if you say so. But, that statement was a little unnecessary about the poison being like, if you don't love me, I'll just kill myself. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I think I should continue on this bullshit train because of it. Shove it, fatty! <laughs> Stop! Thou hast driven a dagger into my breast and ended all hope of happiness. Thusly, I must end my life. Hark! Okay. A shadow approaches. Take me! And so I die. No! <laughs> And 
Well, Yay. it's an unorthodox reading of the text, but one cannot argue with the results. They're clapping. Sure. I see you are gifted with remarkable literary cunning, but can yes. you really comprehend the depths of my work? That we shall see. I don't need to comprehend nothing. I just need to be an asshole. Ah, yes. <laughs> this is undoubtedly a scene from one of Morley's earlier, funnier plays, Bloodbath at the Royal Court. Oh, okay. This must be your costume. Oh, great. I go in the, the chicken of the fool is one right. filled with tragic death. It will require a masterful performance. A masterful performance of being an asshole? You got it, because that's what I've been doing the entire God's damned game. There I am in my other chicken costume. What fresh insolence is this? Out of my throne, you impertinent buffoon! Stand Excuse before you, king, and do your jester's duty. How about Tis a troublesome you time stand at my court chicken and feet? My crown grows heavy. So make me Keep laugh, them. or I shall have your head. Uh huh. So now we're doing this. Now we're doing the lovey dovey bullshit. Not like in the last scene. I. You look so cute in that crown. <laughs> That was the line of the joke. I had no idea you felt that way about me. Or is this another one of your japes? Uh, no. No. This is what we're doing. This is mm. the train we're going on. Ah. Mm. Oh. Whoa. So it's true. You do love okay, me. Okay, I don't like you this You have that much. no idea how difficult it's been watching you strut about in those magnificent feathers. How much I've wanted you. I'm sorry. You then what? it is settled. Tomorrow we shall wed, and let anyone who frowns upon our union have his head cut off. Okay, sure. Why not? Well, it's certainly a radical interpretation of the text, but effective nonetheless. Mm, you handle my like royal dramas as well as you handle my romances. But will your versatility extend to the more subtle domains of theater, I wonder? The more oh, subtle, dear. you say? Unless I'm mistaken, this is a scene from Morley's notoriously violent historical epic, Titus the Mutilator, Part 2. Which okay. would mean this is the gladiatorial arena from Act 5 where Titus is finally slaughtered by savage warriors seeking revenge. A favorite um, scene of mine as a child, I must admit. Oops, and here what? is Titus's famous costume. I had some pajamas that looked just like it. I just kept Put on wearing on this with another take mission. On the greatest role of your life. Okay. Um Okay Titus thy pox membered body shall pay for thy monstrous villainy my son lies dead because of you probably now shall deserve revenge it. be mine cold as your corpse and all the more flavorsome for it that's do try weird. to make your demise convincing yeah, I'm not gonna die. Fuck that. Complete the scene by dying or defeating Ace's men. I'm gonna defeat them. Fuck that. Don't do it yet. He's making you look bad. Oh, I don't need to do much to do that. Let me tell you. Let's Fuck. build. Whoop. Ha <laughs> ha. Take your heads down, boys. Scumbag shoots it at us. Yeah, and I'm also swiping at you. Oh, like that. Gelf, you this guy ain't moving at all. Kind of stupid. Of More of my kin lie slain, and yet you live. Damn right. You have breathed your last sulfur-scented breath, Titus. Right. I can tell you can handle a gun, but can you handle me? Um, I've been doing so Kill well the handling the rest of y'all, so. I'm pretty sure I can handle all of you. Oh, he's a big strong fella, isn't he? 
<laughs> there we go. I'm actually doing pretty damn well. Better than I expected. Whoop! He's as strong as a troll knocking us around like that. Oh yeah. This is actually pretty good. Oh, you fuck. Up, oh, I missed. Okay, well, fuck you. Try a parry, fuck you bloody fool. Oh, fuck you. I don't want to be another notch on some hero's belt. Come, lads, fight fuck back! You. Look out! And that should finish all of them. All my men dead. My vengeance denied. My world undone. I cannot stand. To live one second more. A All tremendous right. performance. That's just the ending I wanted to see when I was a young boy attending the theater every weekend. I wonder what scene will follow now. Oh, what scene could possibly follow such a masterful rendition of my work? And the way you improvised some of those roles, you brought new life to my words. I stand in awe. Okay. You have I guess earned I did the good. prize no mortal has ever been honored with before. My missing play. I entrust it to you, for I know that you will do it justice. I call it the Ham Sandwich. A metaphorical title, of course. Okay. Okay, that's still a weird title, nonetheless. A tragic comedy. The title refers to the comedy and the tragedy, which are the two pieces of bread holding the meat of the matter together. It's still weird. Steam hat, keep your head warm. Order it today. Yeah, and then burn it. Yeah, good job. Bald? Okay, that's about all it's showing. Ah, you have retrieved our aged investigator. Happy day! Have you perchance found... Uh -huh. This is no time for perchances, Lambert. The play, do you have it? Yes, I do. And let's watch what says, this go. Wait, what? Oh, the joy in my bosom knows no bounds. Uh -huh. Thank bosom. you a million times. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> His head bosom is already working. <laughs> Comedy and tragedy will at last join hands. Bosom. I am 12. Alrighty. Bear witness to the tragic futility that is man. Oh, how it doth sear my senses to see paradise and yet to be barred. That reminds okay. me of a great joke. A guard, a monk, and a chicken walk into a bar. Unfortunately, the bartender had had a mild heart attack that morning, so none of them get served. And yet, what, what? purpose doth heartache serve when the infinite okay. dark blanket that is death Fall softly upon our still beating corpse. That reminds me of another one. A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? Certainly, replies the bartender. I've never seen a stiff drink. And so endeth our happy sad play, which reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say, Great big giant bosoms! <laughs> What the hell was that? Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. <laughs> it didn't even make sense. Worst play ever. Exactly! What the fuck was all that? What? <laughs> then, they were, then they clearly were setting up a rhyme to just have it fall flat on great big giant bosoms. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, that was more comedy than anything else. <laughs> what fuck. What in the fuck was all of that? Oh, uh, the jokes were stupid. The worst, <laughs> but also the best. <sighs> okay.
Okay. All right. Well done. You have gathered quite an impressive following in Brightwall. This should be more than enough to convince this little hamlet to send aid to the dwellers. Well, I believe Samuel awaits hoping. you at the town gates to express that very I'm sentence. beginning to understand why Philip Morley never published this particular piece of work in his lifetime. Indeed, it is too far ahead of its time. Right. Perhaps one day a civilization will rise with the broadness of brain to truly appreciate it. If you ask me, it was the tragic elements that let it down. One cannot argue with the comedy. Oh, a pox on you, pinch! Okay. Well, I guess, uh... <laughs> I guess now they're back to arguing over which is better, tragedy or comedy. I'm more of a if comedy guy, I guess. Rent, I'm gonna have to move out. Well, then do that. I don't care. Eventually, I'll have bought all the houses and you won't have a choice. With you. Alrighty. Wow, I'm really getting into character of asshole. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, thank God I have my Friday episode <laughs> to bring me back to normal. Alright. Da oh, no. uh, fuck. Ah, oh, that was the kid, I guess. Alright. Um. Welcome to the sanctuary. Yes. Thank you. I kind of want to do that other quest before I do oh gnomes are evil are they now well I could have told you that <laughs> but huh missing child search miss peak Valley, caverns, uh, for a missing child. Okay. There are still plenty of citizens out there who... Whoop. Didn't mean to skip through Jasper's... <laughs> Jasper's talking. Whoopsie doopsie. Well, let's uh, go do this. Please, you've got to help me. I'm so worried. All right. It's my daughter, you see. Okay. I can't find her. The little scamp is always going off on her own. Having adventures and whatnot. Yeah. Always comes back after a while, though, but this time she's been missing for hours and hours. I'm frantic with worry. That's always It's fun. all her father's fault. He never stops talking about how there's gold to be found in the caves in Mist Peak Valley. Well, kick him in the dick. That's where she's gone. Please Make find sure her and bring her home. You can't I make any you. other stupid children that run around looking for gold in them there hills. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. What did I just say? Please bring her back safe and sound as soon as you can. Okay. All right. Will do. While I'm doing so, I will wonder what the hell is wrong with me. Wow, I have a lot of gold now. Okay, well, I guess it's time to buy a couple houses, Any other business it? to attend? Okay, holy shit. Um, of the houses that I own. Eh, some of them are starting to fall into disrepair. That's fine. That's not for sale now. Man. House of Clock is. Ooh. In that case. Uh, repair it up. Oh, boy. I blew through all my gold. All right. Whoa. I forgot to set the rent. I must fix. I must fix. Just rent to highest available. And we're good. Fuck yeah. Now I can get out of here. And we continue on. Burpy for my coffee. Alright. Head out into the valley. Always insist on General Martin's muskets and ammunition. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's uh, That doesn't look like a fun time having the gun explode in your hand like that. That again usually never is, if my understanding is correct. And that took care of that. No problems. Alright. Let's go gather up the child real fast. Before she is in trouble in some way, shape, or form. Ow. 
I do like that it just brings them to me, so I don't have to worry about, you know, actually getting this, getting the experience, is what I was trying to say. But I wanted to make sure I got those last two before they got in close. Okay, well, fuck off again. There we go. Uh, okay. Oh! Oh, dick spot. Okay. I guess we'll deal with that. Real quick. Ah, an eyelash that decided to rebel and go into my eyeball. How dare you. Alright, more gold! Woo! Won't be enough to cover the repair bills for the houses, but at least I have more gold. At least for now, it's good. Really? Alright, well, take us to the dig spot, doggo. Let us see what we get. There must be another entrance to the caverns that I haven't been in yet. 2,000! Okay. Alright, that would recover the repair bills, but at this point... I uh, want to finish this up before the end of the episode. So... Alrighty. Mom, save me! Well, I'm not your mom, but I'm gonna save you. Help! What's that? Help! It's probably a wolf, knowing this area. Mom, mom, Help mommy, me. mom. Help. Hi there. There's so many of them, and they're so scary. Please take me back to mommy. Sure, let's take you back to mommy. Alrighty. Oh, I just hold on to L2. To not L2. Left trigger. If I want to drag someone around with me. That's right, I remember now. Okay. Um. Ow. And that's it. Whoops. Had to be closer. Come on. Come on, guy. Put the gun away. There we go. Now I can drag the child along with me. Man, I'm just raking in muns right now. It's great. <laughs> I'm just raking in the money. They're, they're wolves. They're not really monsters. They're just animals that are very hungry and wanting to kill everything. So, you know. Oh. Okay. I shoot the Batman's gun out of his hand. Uh huh. I have adventures too. Yesterday I saved a town from a big monster, and they Did said it? I could be their princess. Aww. Ain't that adorable? That they'd let you be the princess after you saved them. Wouldn't they want to I hire you on as a bodyguard? Talk to strangers. Yep, well, too bad. Usually you don't meet people unless you talk to strangers, so that's kind of, you know, not going to help you get anywhere else in life. What's your affliction? Fatigue? Boils? Rictus? Headache? Pox? I didn't we get to read the rest of it. We made it out of the cave. Yes, we Brilliant. did. <sighs> really? Another dig spot? We didn't touch on this the last time we were out here. Alright, well. Alright. What do we got? Warrior stripe hairstyle. Okay. 
I guess we'll uh, see how that goes later. But for right now, we lead the child back to their mother. Help! What's that? What the? Help! That was rather magical. Uh, they just popped out of nowhere. Come on. There we go. go hello hello can i copy your look i mean if you can manage it sure this is a fairly expensive look so good luck i spy with my little eye something beginning with s i'm gonna guess snow because there's a fuck ton of it that and you're probably not that creative Jesse. All right, we are More almost back. Don't let them eat me. Well, I wasn't planning on it. It's not yet. Got him. Anything else? Any More of them? Of course. Cool. Yeah. Okay, that. Helps quickly get that out of my hand. Instead of just standing there waiting. Alrighty, cool beans. It's funny, usually there's a uh, evil Don't option for these sort of quests. Don't you start that with me, kid. Don't you start that with me. Most money ever. Jesus. Fucking Popeye making sure that he beats me at everything. <laughs> All right. there yet now? We are almost there, kid. Stop it. I can just abandon you right here and now. Alright, have fun with that, whoever There's you are. My mom. Yep. And we just... I have no control over this. He's slowly walking over there. Okay. My darling. My little darling. What a relief. I was beside myself. I can't thank you enough. I'm forever in your debt. Yeah, you are. You saved a little girl from danger and returned her to her frantic mother. This really could not have gone any better. I could have gotten money out of it. That, that would have been better. <laughs> Alright. Let us go back to the village and return to Samuel. Is it really a village? Or is it still technically a... Eh, eh. Is it technically a town or is it still technically a village? It's hard to tell. But... Suddenly, Esteemed daylight. citizens of Brightwall, today we demonstrate the generous nature of our fair town. For uh -huh. too long have our mountain neighbors suffered in silence, and now we extend a helping hand. I don't think they were but suffering this that much silence. would not have been possible without the courage and determination of one man, the son of the old hero king. Yay. this day, we shall know you as the hero of Brightwall. Before Woo. you leave, we ask of you one favor. As okay, we pledge ourselves it? to you, so we hope you will pledge to return Brightwall to its former glory and reopen the academy which your father founded. Yeah, I promise. I'll do that. I will. <laughs> That's my old... That's my old Xbox 360 gamer pick. Holy shit. Right, I hereby promise that I shall reopen the Brightwall Academy. <sighs> wow. That's a blast from the very, past to be looking good, at very that. Very good. I expected nothing less from you. These volunteers shall carry the supplies to the dweller camp. Uh, they may have them with our blessing. Good. I hope you will return one day 
not just as our hero, but as our king. There we go. They're all excited for that. Alrighty. Oh. You know, if you Whoa, your, look at all those. Damn. I got items. so many fucking seals out Upon of that. Upon that wall, you'll find the contracts representing the promises that you've made to the people of Albion. Huh? Your contract with Samuel is there, for example. Oh! I hereby promise that I shall reopen the, the bright wall. Upon this wall does put things in perspective, doesn't it? A little. And it's also a proper contract. There are new items sort of thing too in the sanctuary shop. So, like, I would have to be a super asshole to break these. <laughs> I've been perfecting that for a while. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here for right now because, well, at this point, I think we've done everything I need to do. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more, bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. Hopefully, my mouth will be more functional by that point. <laughs> this has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and... Uh, helping out the town with the tragic comedy that flopped horribly uh, and just saved a little girl from a cave full of wolves and now we have a contract with the people of Brightwall that I would have to be a real asshole to break but we will for you